everyone. Welcome to our channel. This is Daisy Barangan, Paano Pinoy. And thank you so much po sa mga nanood, nag-like at nag-subscribe po ng ating unang video. So this is my second attempt to do a YouTube video. I hope you guys support it by watching, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Maraming maraming salamat po. So for today, ang pag-uusapan natin, 5 Effective Study Habits for Online Distance Learning. So, paano nga ba ang ODL? Enrolled in Online Distance Learning? Watch this! First tip, have your study area or learning space na tinatawag. Kung naka-enroll ka sa online class, dapat may sarili kang space kung saan higit na makakapag-concentrate ka ng pag-aaral mo. It is advisable na mayroon kang chair and table, well-ventilated, and well-lit ang learning space mo. Lumayo ka sa mga places kung saan merong possible distractions, gaya ng bukas na TV, or maingay na daanan, or mga batang naglalaro. Maigi rin na nakatalikot ka sa wall upang maiwasan ang mga unfortunate incidents na kung saan may mga kasamaan tayo sa bahay na maaaring dumaan sa ating likuran. Inform mo rin ang mga kasama mo sa bahay sa schedule ng online class mo. That way, aware din sila na you are having your online class at maiwasan ang disturbance. Your study area should be clean and organized na para bang nasa school ka pa rin para on learning mode. Avoid staying in your bed kung maaari. Pag nasa kama ka, hindi malayo na mahihiga ka or baka maidlip pa. Defeated ang purpose ng online class mo kung magkakaganon. Ang bed ay para sa pagtulog. So get up! and stay in your learning space. If you want to maximize the full benefits of online distance learning, make some adjustments sa nakagawi ang routine. It is not easy, but it will be worth it. Tip number two, know your learning goals and objectives. Being enrolled in an online class, napaka-importante na responsable ka sa mga dapat at gusto mong malaman at matutunan. Isa ito sa kagandahan ng ODL. Ang mga learners ay nabibigyan ng responsibility sa kung papaano nila gustong matuto. Know your goals so you know how to target or achieve them. Dito na rin pumapasok yung tinatawag nating most essential learning competencies if K-12 student ka. Usually, your teacher will tell you the milk at the beginning of the session. Even for college students, Kadalasan, sinasabi sa umpisa ng learning session ang class or lesson objectives. Knowing this, alam mo sa sarili mo kung matagumpay mong na-achieve ang goals at objectives sa bawat lesson mo. It also pays to have your to-do list. Kung katulad kita na dapat visually nakikita ko ang listahan ng mga dapat kong gawin, eh, maglista ka na rin. What are the class requirements, schedule of activities, submissions, and deadlines. Feeling accomplished ka pag nakita mo ang mga tasks na natapos mo sa to-do list mo. Tip number three, create your study plan. Just like before the new normal, every successful learner needs a plan. So, enroll ka sa online distance learning. What now? Ano ang plano mo para makuha mo ang full benefits sa bagong learning delivery modality na ito? Kahit sa being ODL yan, dapat i-practice pa sleeping and waking up early for your online class. You wake up, eat your breakfast, take a bath, at iwasang mag-cram thinking na naka-off naman ang camera mo. Sometimes, yung mindset na prepared ka will help you stay alert and focused. Pati ang schedule ng mga klase mo at time mo para sa pag-accomplish ng mga requirements mo. Time management is everything. Though it is an online class, you still need to regularly review and do advanced reading kung binigay naman na ahead of time ang mga modules at iba pang learning materials. Also, always take down notes during the session. Sounds old school ano, but we still advise our ODL learners to take down notes habang nagdi-discuss ang teacher. This is one way na rin para alert ang brain mo at engage ka pa rin sa learning mo. If you have the printed modules, annotate, highlight, and write your notes. Baka nga mas madali mong matandaan ang mga information dahil sinusulat mo ito. 
Learn the platforms na ginagamit niyo sa school. Video tutorials are available online. Watch them if you can. Tip number four. Take study breaks. Just because you are enrolled in an online class, eh hindi ka na magpapahinga. You need some breaks. We all do. After every class, get up and do some stretching. Have your water and snacks beside you. Kung baga, meron ka rin time for personal recess. Dito na rin pumapasok yung kagandahan na may sarili kang schedule, when to do the requirements, and when to review. After your online class, spend time with your family. Band with them. Watch movies together. Learn and study together. Go out and play. Kahit nasa new normal na tayo, huwag nating alisin sa sarili natin ang mga opportunities na mag-enjoy kasama ang mga kaibigan at pamilya. Hone your talents after class para ma-release din ang stress dulot ng mga deadlines. If using social media is one of your outlets para mas maging creative and expressive ka, then do it! And do it with moderation pa rin, syempre. Remember, these activities are also good for you. If you have a healthy body, a healthy mind follows. Finally, tip number five. Ask for help when you need it. You know what? We are all in this together. Even your teachers are adjusting to all this. If you need help, feel free to ask your teachers. They are there for reasons. Ask your classmates too. Get to know them. Be nice to one another. Kadalasan may mga group chats naman tayo per class. Sometimes per subject pa. Magtanong. Introduce yourself before you ask questions and use po an opo pa rin when talking to your teachers. Kahit online lahat ng communication, huwag natin kalimutan ang kagandahang asal pa rin. This is not a time to work and study all by yourself. Bond with people so you'll realize that all of us are facing this battle together. Consult your ates and kuyas or your parents at home, especially if you need their ideas. Technology is readily available now, so feel free to connect with people you trust. ODL is quite new for most of us. Just as you are worried about ODL, know that most of us share your concerns too, even us, your teachers. But we believe that in time, with patience and understanding, we could all get by and succeed together in our online distance learning.